real hypersurface in a complex projective space with pseudo deep parallel structure copy operator. This is uh, joint work with uh, Professor Perez and uh, Professor Young Jin Sa. As we know well, uh, Professor Takaki showed the uh, all homogeneous uh, uh, real hypersurface of a comp complex projective space as uh, realized um, uh, I realized as uh, a tube of uh, tube of uh, constant radius over the compact homogeneous uh, homogeneous symmetric s space. Uh, he, namely he, showed the following theorem. Uh, M is a connected hopeful hypersurface in complex projective space with the constant principal curvatures. Then M is uh, holomorphic congruent to an open part of uh, the following six types hypersurface in complex projective space. Uh, uh, also, this theorem uh, showed by Cecilian or Kimura. The other examples of real hypersurface is uh, ruled ones. Um, that is given by Professor Kimura. Uh, take a regular curve gamma in complex projective space with a tangent vector field X. At each point of gamma, there is a unique complex projective hyperplane cutting gamma so as to be orthogonal not only to X but also JX. The union of these hyperplanes is called the Ludlow hypersurface. From these, uh, using these theorems, uh, many uh, mathematicians have studied the um, classification problem of uh, real hypersurface in complex projective space with, uh, several, uh, with various uh, geometrical quantity. Thus, we can consider the, this, uh, this problem with uh, a special quantity, namely the structure Jacobi operator. Thus, uh, from now on, I will introduce the notion of the structure Jacobi operator. Uh, let R tilde is the coverage operator of M tilde, and X is uh, any tangent vector field to M tilde. Then, the self adjoint endomorphism of uh, the tangent bundle uh, satisfying this condition, we call the Jacobi operator. Um, clearly, uh, from this definition, each tangent vector field X to M tilde provides a Jacobi operator with respect to the any tangent vector X. Thus, we can consider uh, the Jacobi operator with respect to the special tangent vector field. Uh, let M be a real hypersurface in complex projective space, and let Kshi be the structure vector field on M. Here, Kshi uh, structure vector field is the meaning uh, such that This equation here, n is uh, unit normal vector field we call the Jacobi operator on M with respect to uh, this vector, the structure Jacobi operator. There are many uh, results uh, using the structure Jacobi operator. Among them, I will introduce some results with the uh, uh, parallel list of uh, structure Jacobi operator. Uh, in 2006, uh, Professor Perez Ortega Santos uh, was uh, given um, the parallel structure Jacobi operator. 
the structure could be operator R C satisfying this equation. Uh, the covariant derivative the covariant derivative of the structure Jacobi operator in any direction x um, is uh, vanishing, then we call the uh, structure Jacobi operator is uh, parallel. Using this notion, uh, they, they give the non-existence theorem for real hypersurface in complex projective space. Thereafter, thereafter, many geometers uh, considered have considered the generalized the par parallel structure Jacobi operator. Um, for instance, uh, Professor Perez Santos and Yong Jin Seo uh, introduced the new notion of uh, this parallel structure Jacobi operator. Here, D is, uh, D is the maximal holomorphic distribution in complex projective space. Um, the structure Jacobi operator uh, satisfies this equation. Here, X belongs to the maximal holomorphic distribution D. We call the structure Jacobi operator is uh, D parallel. Uh, also, they give uh, the non-existence theorem for uh, near hypersurface of complex projective space. The other example is the other example is as follows: uh, Kobayashi and Omizu and Wang uh, introduced the. Um, Nanjiro tensor field T is recurrent, uh, namely T is Nanjiro tensor field of type RS on M. Uh, if there exists one form satisfies this condition, then T is recurrent. Using this notion, uh, Perez and Santos uh, the state operator, the, the structure Jacobi operator is recurrent. Give. Um, uh, uh, structure Jacobi operator is recurrent if it satisfies this condition. Here, omega is uh, one form. Using this notion, they also give uh, um, the following theorem. There exists no real hypersurface with recurrent structure Jacobi operator. Moreover, they defined the new notion, the recurrent structure Jacobi operator. Um, um, the structure Jacobi operator satisfying this condition here, x is uh, belong to the um, holomorphic distribution D. We call the structure Jacobi operator is D recurrent. Using this notion, uh, M is a real hypersurface of complex projective space. Then its structure Jacobi operator is D recurrent if and only if. M is uh, a maximal ruled real hypersurface. From these, uh, we have a motivation from these theorems. Uh, we think uh, next to two problems. First problem is uh, as like, suppose that the structure Jacobi operator satisfying this condition. Here, x and y is any tangent vector field to M. If uh, c equal to zero, then this condition becomes uh, pa parallel structure Jacobi operator. Thus, um, this equation have the meaning is the generalized the structure uh, parallel structure Jacobi operator. Thus, we define the Structure Jacobi operator satisfying this condition should parallel. Using this 
notion, we considered uh, M is uh, uh, real hypersurface in complex projective space with the, the pseudo parallel structure Jacobi operator. Then, whether M is locally congruent to type A1 or type A2 or uh, S1, E, or real hypersurface. Thus, we have the uh, main theorem. M is a real hypersurface of complex projective space with a pseudo parallel structure Jacobi operator. Then, C is uh, negative integer and uh, is not minus one. Moreover, M is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere of radius R belong to this interval. Uh, the other problem is as like, um, the structure Jacobi operator satisfy this condition. Here, X is belong to only uh, the maximal holomorphic distribution D. Uh, here, if C is uh, also um, vanishing, then this equation becomes to the um, deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. Also, this equation have the meaning is generalized uh, the parallel structure Jacobi operator. Thus, we can uh, define the pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. Uh, so we can consider the next uh, the problem. Mm. M is uh, a real hypersurface in complex projective space such that this equation here x is uh, belong to the distribution D, y is any tangent vector field to M. Then M uh, whether M is locally congruent. Uh, to type A1 or type A2, um, E. Uh, before explain, explaining um, of our theorems, I introduce the fundamental formula and the lemmas. M be a connected real hypersurface in complex projective space uh, and let and be a locally defined unique normal vector field on M. And Labla be the Levitivita connection on M and the pair J and G, the Kähler structure of a complex projective space. Then we can write uh, for any vector field X, uh, for any tangent vector field X, we can write this equation and normal vector field this equation. Then we have uh, an almost contact uh, metric structure on M. As we know well, this uh, almost contact metric structure satisfying these equations. Moreover, as the ambient space has holomorphic sectional coverage support, the equation of uh, Gauss equation and Kodachi equation respectively. Uh, in particular, this, uh, the Gauss, the Kodachi equation is often used in our, our proof. Um, now, I introduce three lemmas uh, which are uh, very powerful tool in our proofing. First two lemma was given by Okumura in 1975. First, M is a connected real hypersurface of complex projective space if M is satisfied the structure tensor pi and the safe operator A commute to each other, then M is locally congruent to one of the following space. First space is A1 type, the other uh, type is A type. Lemma two, uh, if psi is a principal vector with corresponding principal coverage alpha, and x belongs to the distribution, uh, 
the maximum holomorphic distribution D is also principal with the principal coverage lambda, then pi x is principal. And uh, principal curvature satisfying this relation. Next lemma was given by Professor So. Um, this lemma is uh, the uh, has the meaning uh, of characterization of ruled real hypersurface. M is a real hypersurface in complex projective space satisfying um, the time number at P uh, is not greater than 2, uh, then M is a ruled real hypersurface. From now on, I will introduce the, our uh, main theorems proof sketch. Step one, uh, M is a real hypersurface in complex projective space with pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. Then, uh, if C is not minus one, then M is hopeful. Next step, uh, M is a real hypersurface in complex projective space with pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator, the structure tensor pi, and the safe operator A commute with, uh, with each other. Then <coughs> we have the conclusion one, um, M, mm, M is locally congruent to a real hypersurface of type either A1 or A2 because uh, the lemma one, from lemma one. Mm, conversely, uh, we can consider uh, M is uh, type A1. Namely, uh, M is a geodesic hypersphere in complex projective space, then M have uh, the pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. Step four is uh, similar. Uh, M is uh, type B, uh, type A2, then, um, then M have uh, the pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. We checked. From these steps, we have the main theorems. M is a real hypersurface of complex projective space with pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. If C is not minus one, then C is negative integer. Uh, moreover, M is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere of radius R uh, such that this condition. Uh, from now on, I introduce some previous result. Which previous result using the our key proposition, proof of our key proposition? <coughs> Let M be a real hypersurface in complex projective space. Let U be a unit vector field in the maximal holomorphic distribution D. Put du is the orthogonal distribution of this distribution. And D0 is sub-distribution is uh, satisfying this condition. Dc is also sub-distribution satisfying this condition. Then uh, proposition one, uh, there exists no real hypersurface in complex projective space whose safe operator is given by this, and there exists to linear holomorphic distribution D0 and DC such that D0 uh, direct sum DC equal to DU. Here, alpha n beta is non-vanishing smooth function. Uh, moreover, beta satisfying this condition. Also, C is not 
and she is non-zero non -zero and minus one. Next proposition is as follows. Uh, M is a ruled real hypersurface in complex projective space. Then M have the pseudo d parallel structure Jacobi operator. Lastly, mm, uh, this proposition is similar to proposition one. Uh, there exists no real hypersurface in complex projective space whose safe operator is given by this. Uh, also, beta is non-vanishing smooth function. She is a constant, uh, she is non-zero constant and minus one, is not minus one. Uh, I I introduce uh, I, 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 uh, among uh, the, among post steps I thought the step one is very important that I will explaining the proof of a key proposition step one mm -hmm. step one is uh, uh, keep under the Given assumption, M is uh, be M become to hopefully a hypersurface. Uh, in order to this fact, we suppose M is not hope. Not hope. Here, U is uh, a unit tangent vector field belong to the maximum holomorphic distribution D. Beta is non-vanishing function, and mm, then mm, from the assumption, the uh, M have a, a pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. We have uh, this equation. From now on, we call this equation fundament fundamental equation. Mm. Taking y equal pi u in this equation and its color product with Cauchy, we obtain this equation. And taking x equal pi u, uh, since, because since pi Cauchy, pi Cauchy equal to zero, then pi u belong to the pi u belong to the maximum holomorphic distribution d, so we can take x equal pi u in this equation. Thus, we have uh, uh, this conclusion. Denote by du the orthogonal complement of the distribution, this distribution, put a u equal this, and a pi u equal this. Here, g and w are some unit vector field in du. Uh, that is, g and w orthogonal, uh, orthogonal, uh, cushy, pi, pi u, u. Orthogonal to cushy u, pi u. Using this equation and uh, a cush equal alpha cush plus beta u, we have uh, these equations. Actually, we calculate uh, this value. Uh, moreover, mu and epsilon is uh, this. From the fundamental equation and its scalar product, uh, we have uh, the important two facts. First fact is uh, this smooth function mu and epsilon is equal to zero, and second uh, fact is uh, du is uh, a invariant. From these facts, 
we see that uh, first back mu and epsilon equal to zero, then we see that this conclusion. Um, so, so we have uh, these equations. Here, delta is uh, this value. Pact 2 is the, sub, uh, the distribution du is a invariant. From these packs, we see that uh, the unique eigenvalues of A uh, that could appear in DU are either 0 or minus uh, C plus 1 over alpha. We also can conclude that the corresponding eigenspaces are holomorphic. So we can divide, we can, cons, uh, we can sort uh, the next three cases. The first case is uh, uh, AG equal zero and A pi G equal zero. Um, for any G is belong to uh, the distribution DU. Uh, from equation 11, uh, this equation uh, have the uh, pact one, epsilon and mu equal to zero, then a pi equal to pi, uh, a cushy equal alpha psi plus beta u, a u equal beta psi plus delta uh, one minus beta square over c plus one a u, a pi u equal al uh, delta pi u, uh, this fact is from this. Uh, using the, e moreover, using the equation of Kodachi, we get delta equal to zero. Um, but uh, lemma three, from lemma three, we obtain that M is a ruled real hypersurface in complex projective space. Uh, actually, we calculated this uh, uh, rank, we calculate the rank of uh, the matrix A um, become, uh, become to one, uh, thus by lemma three, we have a, uh, uh, M is a ruled real hypersurface. Mm. Then propos proposition two implies that this case does not occur. Next case is uh, there are exist two vectors G and W uh, such that A G equal to zero and A W equal to this vector. Then um, proposition one, we see that pi u beta is not zero. Uh, proposition one said that uh, if pi u uh, m satisfies um, pi u beta equal to zero, then m is not exist. Thus, we see that this path. Mm. The other hand, we calculate this equation, then mm, we have uh, uh, this equations. It's a scalar product with u. We have uh, pi u beta square equal to zero. From this equation implies that pi u beta equal to zero. Thus, uh, we have a contradiction. Uh, from proportion one, we see that pi u beta is not zero. But we have the conclusion pi u beta equal to zero have the maker contradiction. Lastly, um, we can consider a g equal this and a pi g is also this. 
Then equation two, uh, two uh, is the assumption of pseudo deep parallel structure Jacobi operator. Uh, and it's a scalar product with Cauchy, we have uh, uh, this equation. Thus, we can consider the two subcases. First case is delta equal zero. Then, uh, by the Kodachi equation and its scalar product with u, we see that this conclusion. But from the assumption of pseudo de parallel structure Jacobi operator, we calculate this equation. Uh, we have uh, pi u beta equal to zero. Thus, we have a contradiction. Lastly, delta is not um, delta is not vanishing. Also, uh, from the assumption of pseudo de parallel structure Jacobi operator and proposition three, and so on, we see that alpha and beta square equal to c plus one, and delta is not minus one. The other hand, uh, from the Kodachi equation and its scalar product with u, uh, we see that this equation is zero. Since delta is not, min uh, delta is not zero, we have uh, this equation. But, um, uh, but from the assumption of uh, pseudo de parallel structure Jacobi operator, we calculate this part, we have uh, this equations. So we have, uh, pr uh, from these two equations, we see that delta is delta equal to minus one. But we see that delta is not minus one. So in uh, this case, is not occur. Thus, uh, M is must be hope. Mm. Step two is um, M under the assumption M is hope, then the structure tensor pi and the safe operator A commute to each other. Uh, from now on, I will explain this reason. Uh, M is hope. Uh, uh, since M is hope, then alpha is locally constant, which that, which that. So, uh, so uh, from the assumption of uh, pseudo de parallel structure Jacobi operator, we calculate this equation. Taking its scalar product with Cauchy, we obtain this equation. Also, we um, we take the structure, uh, we take the scalar product with uh, y. Y is belong to the maximum holomorphic distribution D. Then we have uh, these equations. Thus, we have uh, this equation. Then, from this equation and this equation, we have uh, pi a y equal to a pi y. Here, y is uh, um, any tangent vector field belong to the maximal holomorphic distribution D. Also, a pi c equal pi a c is the same to zero. Thus, we can conclude a pi equal to two pi a for any tangent vector field X. So, uh, we have the step two. Thus, uh, from, uh, from proposition one, we see that uh, M is uh, locally congruent to type A1 or type A2 under the uh, given assumption. Next is uh, uh, we checked uh, the 
M is uh, if M is uh, type A1 or type A2 respectively, then M satisfies the pseudo D parallel structure Jacobi operator. Uh, First, we consider the case M is of type A1. Type A1 is, uh, um, type A1 have uh, two eigenvalues, alpha and lambda. Alpha is, is uh, two times cotangent to R, lambda is cotangent to R. Then, <coughs> from the pseudo D parallel then from the assumption of pseudo D parallel structure Jacobi operator, we can calculate this so that we have uh, this conclusion. Here we see that C is equal to minus cotangent scale R. So uh, we see that uh, if M is uh, type A1, then uh, M satisfies the pseudo D parallel structure Jacobi operator. The other hand, M is of type A2. Uh, type A2 have uh, mm, three eigenvalues, uh, that is alpha and lambda 1, lambda 2. Uh, put a uh, unit vector field X belong to the distribution, belong to the maximum holomorphic distribution D such that this condition, then from the assumption of uh, the pseudo D parallel structure Jacobi operator, we obtain C equal to minus cotangent square R. Uh, the same producer applied to a unit Y. Uh, belong to uh, this eigen sp eigenspace. Uh, then we see that C equal to minus tangent square R. Thus, we see that minus cotangent square R equal to minus tangent R square. Then, uh, so we see that C is uh, C is minus one, but we uh, but we assume uh, she is not minus one. Thus, we have a uh, um, contradiction. So we have uh, this conclusion. M is a local, uh, M is a real hypersurface of a complex projective space with the pseudo D parallel structure Jacobi operator. If C is not minus one, then C is negative, and moreover, M is locally congruent to a geodesic hypersphere of radius R such that this condition. Stop in my talk.